you might be asking yourself, what's with the pink grass? Well, I'm going to tell you that this is part of our waterway restoration. And if you look back here behind me, you can see all the creeks up a wee bit at the moment. This is actually the only hunger creek. You can see that the creek has uh, willows in it. Now, lots of farmers back in the day used to plant willows along uh, riverbeds to, uh, to protect the bank of the creek. But they're actually a very invasive plant and uh, in some areas you're not even allowed to propagate them. In fact, I think in New Zealand you're not allowed to propagate uh, a couple of different types of willows. So, and what happens is they block these waterways up and uh, the banks erode and before you know it, you need to start a restoration program. And the first part of a restoration program is fencing. And you can see back here behind me down to where Rachel is and all the way down to our boundary, which is right back by the hill there, that um, we've put in a new fence. Uh, Ricky Morrison from Fence In gave us a hand with that. Done a great job. And um, the second part of the of a waterway restoration is to blanket spray. Uh, and we've used a Roundup product here. Um, the ground to get rid of the kaikuia so that the kaikuia and other weeds uh, and grasses won't come through and uh, take over the small seedlings that, uh, and plants that will go in. And uh, so I'm just going to walk you through this, uh, our waterway restoration and what we've got going on. So this is basically stage two is the spraying and uh, part of our other processes that are going to go on as part of this restoration is going to be eradicating the willow and that's going to mean climbing down into the creek, obviously not while it's up like it is now, and drilling holes into the willow and putting a herbicide in them to kill them so that they'll slowly break down over time and, uh, and will be gone. So we'll walk you through some of the other things that are going on. Or not, um, although not completely unique, um, and lots of properties have this sort of thing, uh, where there's a creek there's obviously some runoff, and uh, part of our runoff is this wetland that we have behind us. And this is going to be one of the very later stages um, of our restoration project. We're going to end up ring fencing this wetland, which you can see comes right along the boundary there, right out behind us, right down, and back around behind me. Uh, over here. And you can see uh, even after a couple of days of rain it's a pretty healthy looking wetland, it's got plenty of wet and um, not a lot of land, so that's what wetlands are all about. It's also a very good filter for uh, the creek back behind me as it feeds into the creek through this little tributary and uh, down into the Onihan Creek. So very clean uh, sort of filtration system and it works very very well in a, a eco environment like we have at the moment. Here you can see a classic example of where the willow is encroached on the waterway and um, is actually disrupting the progress of the water and also as it drops its seed um, it's very easy to spread so it becomes very invasive and we have this this problem all the way through this little waterway especially down on the flats here and then um, another stage and possibly not the final stage but towards the end uh, of the project is the planting of course and um, a great deal of manuka is going to be planted um, along the boundary and also in an area that we've fenced off further back down that's about half the size of a rugby field that's going to have quite a lot of manuka plants in it and uh, obviously the the plus of that is that they're a very hardy plant and they produce uh, a lot of flower nectar for bees so they're great to have around for um, uh, promoting the growth of other plants and uh, promoting their own growth as well and also there's a byproduct of honey so that's always a good thing manuka honey is like black gold these days and um, once the plants are in then it's just down to a maintenance spraying where it's just uh, making sure that the kaikuri and other stuff doesn't come away and uh, that we have this a nice healthy uh, river bank um, as you can see through here back behind me is about two to three meters wide uh, even wider in places and uh, so it's going to promote a really healthy riverbank uh, lots of bird life lots of insect life and uh, which in turn is uh, is a good thing all around